Hi students, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss some topics from aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. Let us start. Okay. Uh, from hydrocarbons, how we can prepare aldehydes from hydrocarbon by the oxidation of methyl benzene. Methyl benzene means that is toluene. Toluene reacts with the chromyl chloride. Then we will, in the presence of carbon disulfide, then we will get chromium complex. Chromium complex, methyl benzene react with CrO2Cl that is known as chromyl chloride. In the presence of carbon disulfide, we will get chromium complex that is benzene ring CH3 and hydrogen color CH CH in that is CrO2Cl2 I know the split is CrOO we will have two hydrogen that is the same in that Cl2 then twice ok Two hydrogen in the middle of the two hydrogen in the one hydrogen in the twice it would occur. Then undergoes hydrolysis, we will get benzaldehyde. Methyl benzene react with chromyl chloride in the presence of carbon disulfide, we will get chromium complex which undergoes hydration, we will get benzaldehyde. Okay, the next this reaction is called attard reaction. This reaction is called Etard reaction. The next use of chromic oxide and methyl benzene that is known as toluene react with the chromic oxide in the presence of acetic anhydride at 273 to 283 Kelvin. We will get benzylidian diacetate. Benzylidian diacetate which undergoes hydrolysis. We will get benzaldehyde. Okay, in the presence of aqueous acid. Okay, the methyl benzene react with the chromic oxide in the presence of acetic anhydride. At 273 to 283 Kelvin, we will get benzylidian diacetate. That is CH. And OCOCS3 twice. OCOCS3. And OCOCS3 then twice undergoes hydrolysis in the presence of aqueous acid we will get benzaldehyde this is known as benzylidian diacetate okay then by side chain chlorination followed by hydrolysis side chain chlorination toluene react with the chlorine okay then we will get benzal chloride then undergoes Hydrolysis at 373 Kelvin, we will get benzaldehyde. This is a com commercial method for of manufacture of benzaldehyde. This is a commercial method of manufacture of benzaldehyde. Okay, toluene, chlorination, benzal chloride undergoes hydrolysis. At 373 Kelvin, we will get benzaldehyde. This is a commercial method of manufacture of benzaldehyde. Okay, then by Gutterman Scotch reaction, that is very important reaction. Benzene react with the anhydrous aluminium chloride or copper chloride. Benzene and its or its derivatives is treated with the carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride or cuprous chloride it gives benzaldehyde or substituted benzaldehyde benzene react with carbon monoxide in the presence of hcl benzene is treated with the carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride or cuprous chloride, we will get benzaldehyde or substituted benzaldehyde. That is known as Gutterman's Koch reaction. Koch, CL. Koch CL. Any any other as carbon monoxide, HCl. That is known as Gutterman's Koch reaction. Then preparation of ketones from acyl chloride. Treatment of acyl chloride with the dialkyl cadmium prepared by the reaction of cadmium chloride with the Grignard reagent gives ketone. Grignard reagent we know alkyl magnesium halide react with the cadmium chloride then we will get dialkyl cadmium okay dialkyl cadmium plus 2 mgxcl dialkyl cadmium then as acyl chloride 
react with the dialkyl cadmium then we will get cadmium chloride cadmium chloride remove cheyidukale cl um cd um cadmium chloride cdcl2 then we will get r dash c double bond of r then we will get cadmium chloride so from acyl chloride treatment of acyl chloride with dialkyl cadmium prepared by the reaction of cadmium chloride with the grignard reagent gives ketone ipa alkyl magnesium halide react with the cadmium chloride we will get dialkyl cadmium plus 2 mgxcl then dialkyl cadmium react with the acyl chloride then cdcl2 we will remove the cdcl cdcl2 then we will get r dot c double bond o r okay that is preparation of ketones from acyl chloride preparation of ketone from acyl chloride okay from nitriles treating a nitrile with the grignard reagent followed by hydrolysis we will get a ketone this is nitrile compound it react with the grignard reagent okay in the presence of ether we will get cs3 ch2 this c triple bond then adu double bond n mgbr then this c 6h5 should bonded with this carbon we will get c6h5 then undergoes hydrolysis we will get here ketone group that is c6 that is known as propiofenone from benzene or substituted benzene when benzene or substituted benzene is treated with acyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride it affords the corresponding ketone this reaction is known as friedel craft acylation namak ariya benzene react with arc double bond of cl otherwise rc double bond of cl in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride we will get benzene ring then c double bond of c double bond of r or c double bond of ar c double bond of r or c double bond of ar that is known as friedel craft acylation reaction we already studied that in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride okay okay guys study up to here the remaining topics we will take in the next class okay until then bye